T-Web Browser gives you the ability to allow your users to view web documents or navigate the web right from your application. I have a T-Web Browser embedded in this application here. The code is pretty simple. When the user enters a URL here, they can tap this button to navigate to that page, and then we have a forward and backward button down the bottom. In here in the code, I've actually added this line here that says, if web browser can go back, then we allow it to go back. Um, that will prevent an error if the user tries to go back when they can't. Same thing on go forward. Very simple code here, you see. And then the go button click, all we do is change the URL of the browser to the edit boxes value. That's really all there is to it. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. I'll go ahead and start with running it here on my local machine through 64-bit windows. And we hit go. And sure enough, there we are on the Barcadero site. I can change this to any other address I want to. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at it on a Windows tablet. And we'll just switch over here. VNC, this is a, a Dell Windows tablet. And here it is on the tablet running full screen. I can just tap the go button and navigate to the site. And we'll go ahead and go into application development, Rad Studio. And we'll hit the back button to go back, forward button to go forward. Here again is the same app running on Android under Lollipop. I can tap the go button, go to the page, can scroll around on the page, can even type in the search box here. and search from here. And here's the results of my search. And again, the back button works as expected. And here it is on the iPad. Can tap go, navigates to the site, pinch and zoom, tap to navigate, etc. back button. All works as expected. So this has been a brief overview to using the web browser component in your application development.